Howdy folks. I was gonna try me a little uh, experiment here. I got my own ideas on how this will work, but I see uh, if you talk about uh, a rifle, especially an AR, versus a handgun inside the house. Uh, a lot of people say that uh, you can, uh, you'll actually get less penetration out of the 5.56, and I'm gonna uh, set me up a little thing here and try. See, I got, like I said, I got my own ideas, but I've put a whole bunch of two before together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a uh, little uh, not too happy jug down there. Wait and see if he gets anything. But I'm gonna shoot them here. Regular, typical. Uh, Full metal jackets like uh like I normally use or on the most part. Let's see what I get right here. Let's see. We'll start with a nine millimeter because that seems to be the mo world's most popular. Let's see, FMJs. Try to get pretty close to make sure they all hit. Let's see what that did. There's one, two, three. Looks like it came out of that third one. Hit the fourth one and uh, you see it bounced off of it. And from that indention, it looks like it's all together. Four. Well, actually three. One, two, three. Bounced off the fourth one. So okay, that's what a nine millimeter would do inside hitting wood. Okay, let me set back up and uh, for uh, something else. Okay, we've seen what the nine's got. Let's see what a forty's got. Regular FMJs. Oh man, I didn't put my earplugs on. Lay this down a second. Quite more bit kick right there. Let's see what that did. One, wait a minute, see y'all can see right here. One, two, three. Bounced off the fourth one. How about that? See that? Bounced off the fourth one. Same as the nine millimeter did. Exactly the same. How about that? Well, I would have thought it would have went further. Probably because of the ramp flat tips of the 40s. Alright, let me uh, set up again. Let's see what something else can do. Okay, this next one we got. Trusty 45. Set that up. See what it'll do. Same thing, full metal jackets. Let me put my plugs in. And I do got on glasses, being this close. That did. One, I reused this board and just shot a little higher. Two, three, three.
stopped in the third one. Look at that. Get where y'all can see. That's the 45. Stopped right there in the third one. A little less penetration than the 9 and 40. All right. But anyway, one, two, three. And uh, I'm going to have to go back and look and see if I moved that one or not and make sure that 9mm had three foot front. And I got one more try. One more thing. Oh, we got to get to the rifle. And I got a feeling, I, I don't know, I may be wrong, but I think it's going to do way more than three. All right. Okay, this might be my final thing. What I'm going to do now is 5.56. And I just got regular old steel case FMJs. I think you can see. I hope you can. And uh, in my Bushmaster, 16-inch barrel. But I'm gonna set y'all up down here because I got a feeling it's gonna stop more than uh, it's three uh, two before it's not gonna stop it. And uh, if I can get it aimed straight and it don't ricochet off of this uh, side to side, we might see something. Well, okay, let me bring you back. See what we got right here. It blowed apart for uh, Mr. Milk Jug was lucky. Right here. Two, three, four, five. It started tumbling right there. Look, see? It's tumbling. If it hadn't have tumbled. Six, seven. It's just shrapnel on too. I don't know if y'all definition can tell. It's starting to shrapnel right through here. Tumbled. Tumbled on one, two, three, four, five. Started tumbling when it come out of the fourth one. Started shrapnel on uh, coming apart here on the, on the one, two, three, four, five, six. There's what hit. Seven, eight. And apparently, it stopped on that eight. There's the hole on the seven. And if y'all can't hear me good through all that, I don't guess it really matters as long as you see what's going on right here. See, if it hadn't a keyhole, and it looks like it stayed together pretty good, I'd have to, I'd have to dig it out, I reckon, and see. But if it hadn't a keyhole, I believe it would have took out the milk jug. I believe it would have. But that really killed the, uh, you know, the momentum right there. So, there's no way that uh, a 5.56 round is going to be do less penetration than a house. There's no no way. I mean, it just did double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stopped in the eighth one instead of the third one. And, uh... I hope I do. Uh, I bet y'all would like to see me shoot that milk jug, though, wouldn't you? Let's see. Okay, I want to show y'all one more thing before uh, that I've seen before I started my little test. I got one. Put one round. Of the, that's a steel case there on top. Full metal jacket. One round them. around the FMJ 45. I want you to see the difference when the wood is uh, not separated. Just say it's a one thick piece of wood. If you watch this. Set this away. That stack of wood if I can do this. I'm not shooting myself. But I forgot my earplugs. See 
you what happens. You see me, I hope you see me pick up the top three. Went through the first one, second one, and there it is. Stopped. On the third one right there. See that? Completely full. Just a hair less penetration with them all compacted together. And what I'm going for, let's say if you hit a, uh, a post where all the lumber was thick or something, that's what I was, I was uh, getting at. So let's set that one to the side. And it's already got some holes in it, but I think it's going to be enough difference that it ain't going to matter. And another one here. Let's try to shoot for the center. Right here, watch it cool. Now I'm a little hesitant, of course, of shooting at something this close with a rifle. Don't get me wrong, so I'm stepping up above it. We're gonna see cheap OF uh, steel case ammo, right? Just want to record. Trust that camera. Okay, rifle round. Quite dramatic. I don't know what happened, but that was quite dramatic shooting it. Once again, without my earplugs. Let's see what we got here. Went through one, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Damn it! Load out the side on that one. Okay. Cleaned up the mess. Where it is? What we got summed up here? We got. And as far as this goes, too, uh, this, uh, there's not, a, not no scientific test, right? I mean, uh, you, you're not going to do, these could vary between, like, if you shoot and it stops on five, it could stop on four, it could stop on six, but you probably, but it's probably going to be fairly close, especially for what we're shooting for, a rifle against handgun. Nine millimeter, uh, nine millimeter, millimeter. Nine, blowed through three, hit the fourth one and bounced off, right? So that's a nine. Forty, blowed through three, left a nice hole. Oops, shit that. Left a nice hole and uh, bounced off the fourth one. Forty five, uh, it dead stopped in three. You know, like I said, I could have shot it twice and it, and it blowed through, but. Still all the way intact, FMJs. And if you don't know about that, if hitting wood or something like that, they'll stay intact. Uh, if you shoot it, shoot a rock or something like that, it'll, it'll, it'll shatter them. Rock, steel, something hard. They gotta have something hard. From what I've seen. And uh, the main purpose of this was a uh, handgun against rifle. 5.56. Five, it took. This one here stopped, started keyholing and stopped in eight. And I can see down in there, I could dig it out, but I don't really want a point. I can see the tip of it down in there, and the whole tip of it still intact. And uh, so, and you know, I shot a couple that stopped in, several stopped in six. I shot that uh, green tip, and it went, it went through uh, the milk jug and uh, stopped in what, 10 or so? So it's going to vary, but there's no question about it. Unless you find some, use some type of special ammo, the 5.56 five, round is uh, a whole lot more powerful. I mean, I mean, it's just, and that's kind of what I thought before I tried this. Uh, and I don't know about any uh, self-defense rounds for uh, a 5.56, five, but I'm sure they got all kinds of stuff. But. You know, you can even have if you was to, if I was using self-defense rounds in them uh, pistols, uh, uh, they would have had less penetration. But uh, 
hope y'all learned something. You know, I went pulled around built all this mess, but but anyway, can you hurt? Doesn't and I learned something from it. Uh, appreciate it. Got him at time.